Costco is infamous as a low-cost bulk buyer's heaven, but in the last few years, the warehouse store has also become a discount fashion house for the suburban elite. Why does Costco sell clothing, you might ask? And how are they actually selling more clothes than huge retailers that are considered way more fashionable? That's a great freaking question. In our last video about Costco, which was quite a while ago, we laid out how this giant warehouse retailer maintains such an intense customer loyalty. How would you describe your dad's relationship with Costco? <laughs> a long-term love affair. <laughs> Costco is one of those stores that gets you to spend way more than you're thinking of spending, and they're extremely good at it. Now, Costco is notorious for carrying a weirdly expansive and diverse product line. You can get everything there from oatmeal to engagement rings to above ground swimming pools. Costco's huge product line and whole store setup is one reason why it feels so weird that they're doing so well in the clothing world and in outdoor clothing in particular. I don't know about you, but uh, the warehouse aesthetic doesn't exactly scream fashion. But in the last few years, Costco has sold more clothing than mega brands like Old Navy and Neiman Marcus, with their apparel and shoes sales reaching over $7 billion a year. Now, Costco has accomplished this in two main ways. They have their own product line, Kirkland's Signature Clothing, and they sell upscale clothing brands at a lower price point. Costco has been around for almost 40 years, but they didn't introduce their Kirkland Signature brand until 1995. Today, Kirkland products, which range from bottled water to yoga pants, account for about a third of Costco's sales. As we mentioned in our Costco video, Costco consumers are savvy bargain hunters. So of course they love that they can buy basically the same products for less money when they shop at Costco's exclusive brand. So when it came to clothing, of course it made sense for Costco to branch out into the fashion industry as well. Sometimes you do things you thought you would never ever do. Like I recently bought pants from Costco. <laughs> For the most part, Kirkland apparel is pretty basic, and almost all of it is under $50. So if you're looking for inexpensive jackets, joggers, and socks, the Kirkland Signature line has what you need. But perhaps most interestingly is that Costco has infiltrated one of the most lucrative markets coveted by many brands, the outdoor clothing market. By and large, Costco competes by selling luxury outdoor brands for less than what you get them in the company store. Every season, these fast fashion brands produce way more inventory than they can actually sell. And instead of burning their extra merchandise, they just sell it for next to nothing to Costco. Costco also keeps their prices low by capping their profit margins at 15%. So basically, if they're to sell you an Under Armour shirt that they bought for $10, they're only gonna charge you $11.50 for it. And that, my friends, is how you can get a two pack of Eddie Bauer joggers for $30 at Costco instead of getting one pair for upwards of $100 straight from Mr. Bauer himself. Gosh, that's a good deal. Now, as I said, Costco's shopping environment doesn't exactly scream high fashion but this kind of works in their favor. Costco sets up a unique shopping experience that is basically the exact opposite from shopping at a regular clothing store. They don't have dressing rooms, they don't display their products in windows or on mannequins, and they don't even make the clothes look good. Basically, the clothing section in Costco is just a bunch of stuff piled up on giant tables, so the customer has to sort of pick through it and find what they're looking for. It can honestly look like a jumbled mess. But loyal customers at Costco come back for two main reasons, cost and urgency. Costco turns over their merchandise fairly often, which creates that treasure hunting phenomenon that keeps customers coming back to see what's new. The Dutchman's treasure! Wow. They create this sense of urgency because once a product is gone, it's gone, and you've missed out on maybe a really good deal. But the only way that any of this works is because of Costco's legendary return policy. The fact that you can just bring anything back, no questions asked, makes it safer for customers to buy clothes without trying it on. And if the shirt was $4 in the first place, you're probably not going to be too fussed that there isn't a change room nearby. Now, of course, this shopping experience appeals specifically to the Costco customer, who generally 
fall into an older demographic. You're not going to see a ton of young millennials or Gen Z kids sifting through the piles of clothing at Costco, but you will see their moms or their grandmas. Costco knows that their target demographic doesn't need a fancy shopping experience because they prefer treasure hunting for a good deal. Which leads me to another point. A lot of people buy clothing from Costco because they're already at Costco. They go to Costco for their weekly shopping trip and they just happen to see some $15 yoga pants while they're there. Throwing in a pair of knockoff Lulu lemons in your shopping cart next to your jumbo pack of toilet paper is a completely different shopping experience than actually going to a store or website looking for the brand name product itself. The Costco shopping experience is opposite in every way to shopping directly from a premium clothing brand, like Patagonia, for example. For starters, there's a huge difference in the average price point. As we mentioned in our Patagonia video, the brand gets away with higher prices by pledging to do good by the planet and making good stuff that lasts for generations. Brands like Patagonia and Lululemon attract a very different type of shopper than those who are going to Costco. Getting a good deal isn't their primary focus because they care more about the quality and durability and the impact of their buying choices in some cases. The Costco shopper is an opportunistic shopper who is just in it for the deal. Any kind of certifications about being sustainable or ethically made is maybe just a bonus. This lets Costco get away with being way more secretive about where or how their clothes are made and the quality of the brand that they're bringing in. When it comes to the Kirkland Signature line, activist groups like Good On You and Fashion Revolution rate Costco pretty poorly for their lack of transparency. Costco brags tons about their sustainable initiatives on their website, but there is literally nothing to back any of this stuff up. Now, according to the hive mind, which is the online Reddit community, people seem to be really pleased with the quality of Costco branded clothing, especially when it's from the brands that they already knew and loved, but at lower prices. And this could be a pretty big disruption for some of those more established brands. If Costco can just buy a brand name clothing and then sell it for less or buy products from companies that nobody's heard of and undercut the market with insanely good deals, is there actually any room for performance and mission focused brands like Patagonia? We could, we could deal without that big loud noise, Mr. Mister. But the reality still stands that those who want a quality product that will last will continue to do the research to find the product that fits their needs rather than just tossing it in their cart on their way to get their weekly groceries. Costco is reaching an audience of impulse buyers who probably don't need the top of the line equipment anyway. For many, the $40 puffer jacket from Costco is going to function similarly to the $200 one from Patagonia or North Face. But one point that cannot be argued is that Costco's business model promotes overbuying. As we pointed out in our Costco video, the myth of buying things in bulk makes consumers think that they're getting these great deals. But by buying more, oftentimes people end up with more than what they need. And so a lot of it gets thrown out and there the savings are lost. The same point is true with their clothing. If a t-shirt is only $10, then you can buy a lot of t-shirts without thinking about whether or not you really need them or even like the color versus spending more on a high quality shirt that will last longer and you'll get more use from or buying a second hand one that may very likely be less expensive than the fast fashion alternative. Just the idea that you would spontaneously buy an outfit when you're on your way to get stuff for dinner is proof enough that you probably didn't need that clothing. No, you're right, it, it is boring and lumpy. I hate it. Now we didn't get to test or try out any of the Costco products for ourselves in this video, but if you have any experience with them, please let us know what you think of them down below in the comments. And if you like this video, remember to like it and maybe subscribe to the channel so we can see you again every single Wednesday. Bye everyone.